In this video, we will be providing feedback to question 3 of the math main exam. Part A of question 3 asked candidates to provide advice on whether each of the following sources of finance would meet the specific business needs of Dateau to raise funds for, to finance the software development work and marketing costs. So there were four different sources of finances listed. And um, the first thing is to understand the advise task word which is to communicate appropriately the recommended course of action based on an analysis of specific circumstances. Just describing or defining each source of finance is not the requirement. So let's just look more carefully at the advised task word. The first part is to communicate appropriately the recommended course of action. An answer should state whether or not the specified source of finance should be utilized. And then it needs to be based on analysis of specific circumstances which are provided in the question, in the scenario. So the, the, the following is what the answer should take into account. That the finance is needed for the software development work and marketing initiatives, both of which need to begin soon. So the finance is needed pretty quickly. And this investment will be recovered over a three-year period. And finally, the chief executive wants to retain a controlling interest. So if we look at those, uh, the four different sources of finance, we need the finance pretty quickly. That probably is going to rule out the IPO as well as the venture capital. The next requirement was that it, it's going to be recovered over a three-year period. So we're not looking for permanent funding, uh, which is what an IPO or venture capital um, would be, be more, more permanent than a three-year period and the chief executive wants to retain a controlling interest. So these are the circumstances which we would take into account when answering the question. Here's an example of a candidate answer. A bank overdraft is not recommended. This is because a bank overdraft is used for short-term finance for up to a year and funding is required for the marketing and software development over a three-year period. Good answer. Firstly, it's provided a recommended course of action and secondly, it's provided a, a justification based on the specific uh, circumstances mentioned in the scenario. The next answer here is that data should take out a bank overdraft as it will help address its cash flow issues. Now this wasn't the requirement. It wasn't candidates weren't asked to advise on a particular source of finance in order to enable data to deal with its cash flow issues and um, therefore no mark would be awarded. This is the, another example of an answer. A bank overdraft is a highly flexible and convenient source of short-term finance. It can usually be arranged for a period ranging from a few days to a year and is then renegotiated. Interest on overdraft accounts is usually charged based on the daily balance of the amount overdrawn. It, it's effectively explaining what a bank overdraft is and it's not providing any advice as to whether or not it should be taken out and there's no linkage to the specific circumstances in the scenario. This answer is actually taken directly out of the CSG and it just highlights the importance of not doing that and of, of uh, tailoring your answers to meet the specific requirements in the question and base your answers on the circumstances provided in the scenario. Here's a solution and just to show you there's a similar format for all of them. The first part of the advice is to make a recommendation and then justify your recommendation based on the circumstances in the scenario. All the answers are provided in the examiner's feedback document, which is available in my learning. Now, if we can look at um, part B, little a, the requirement is to analyze the results reflected in the dashboard report, which is provided in the question. Again, let's first look at the definition of the task word. To examine closely, examine something in terms of its parts and show how they are related to each other. So we're looking for linkages for underlying causes of, of the financial results in, in, reflected in the dashboard. And just a couple of points to bear in mind when doing analysis. The first one is to look for linkages. So look for linkages within the dashboard itself. Uh, for example, expenditure on software development could be linked to the application crash rate. Uh, marketing expenditure could be linked to the level of revenue or market share. And you could also look at linkages between the business strategy outlining the background information and the dashboard itself. And bear in mind that restating what is already reflected in the dashboard or background information is not analysis. So there would not be a mark for stating that 
software development costs are 25% below budget and 20% below prior year actual expenditure. So even if these percentages have been calculated, no uh, marks would be, have been awarded for them. However, a mark would be awarded if the following w was added to the above statement. Uh, reduction in software development costs could be a cause of the increase in the application crash rate. A linkage has been identified between two separate items in that dashboard and therefore a mark would be awarded for that. Here's an example of a candidate answer. The number of application crashes is much higher in 2018 than budgeted. This can cause unhappy clients who may go elsewhere. It is important that the application crash rate is reduced and this should be a business priority. Now the first part of the answer is really restating what is already apparent in the um, scorecard and then it goes on to provide some advice. There's no real analysis there. There's no linkages, so, so no marks would be awarded for that. The reduction in market share of 2% is likely due to competitors bridging the strategic advantage that Toe once had by offering unique functionality. That is a good linkage between the market share drop, which is reflected in the, in the dashboard or the scorecard, and linking it to a, a point made out in the background information that that Toe had lost its strategic advantage. And there's the solution. And just note that the solution really is focusing on linkages. So if we look, for example, at uh, the first one, revenue is below budget, and this has been linked to the lower marketing expenditure. So if you want to pause it, you can um, pause the video and read through that solution in your own time. Now, part B, little b, the requirement is to evaluate, that's the task word, evaluate, whether the design of the existing dashboard meets the needs of the senior management team. And you're reminded not to design a new dashboard. So we need to evaluate the existing dashboard. So first step is to understand the task word, determine the value of something, normally with reference to specific criteria. Okay, well, what are we determining the value of? We're determining the value of the dashboard. So we're evaluating the dashboard. And normally with reference to specific criteria, well, what's the criteria which we're going to use? On what basis will we determine whether or not the dashboard is fit for purpose? And the main criteria would be if the dashboard enables a senior management team to achieve Datto's success factors, which are all clearly laid out in the, in the question. And I've put them here on the next um, slide. So this is an extract from the question itself. And here's a list of the business success factors. For example, the first one is to expand its customer base, especially into overseas markets. So the scorecard really needs to reflect revenue from local markets and overseas markets separately. And if you look at the second bullet point, it also needs to show the breakdown in revenue between sales to annual license holders, as well as to those who subscribe uh, for the monthly uh, cloud software. And if this is look at the last one now, it's important that data manages its cash flow effectively. So we would expect to see cash flow information in that dashboard. Let's look at some answers. The dashboard does not meet the needs of senior management. It could possibly be improved, but it does not show the information they need. So this is a, a start. A start has been made. A comment has been made that it does not meet the needs of senior management, but reasons need to be provided. And there are a number of reasons which could have been provided to show that the dashboard does not meet the, the needs of the senior management team. And it's also said that improvements could be improved. So it could have been stated, well, how could it be improved or what are the weaknesses? That's not a, a good answer. Uh, the next suggested answer here we've got here, or the next candidate answer I should say is, no data is provided around the management of cash flow. That's good. Key success factors is effective management of cash flow and there's no cash flow information in the scorecard. Note that the when I'm using the term dashboard or scorecard, they, they, they are really referring to the same thing. They're referring to the, the scorecard provided in the question. The next point made here is operating expenses are shown as a percentage of revenue as opposed to a dollar amount. This wouldn't be accepted. It's often common practice to show items in a scorecard as a percentage of revenue because it makes it easier to compare and it, it enables you to understand the relative size in relation to revenue. So that wouldn't be awarded a mark. There's a the solution, the suggested solution. Um, again, I'll leave it to you to read in more detail 
in your own time. If you want to read it now, you can just press pause. So if you have any questions related to this video or to question three or any other questions in the exam, please post your questions in the discussion board in Blackboard and we will answer them. Thank you.